Hi, this is Dana. Welcome on my channel where I speak about spiritual warfare. Um, in this video, God has guided me to speak uh, a little bit further on the previous topic from a different perspective, namely cloaking. This is probably also because I um, simply couldn't detach myself from this topic um, <clears throat> as I found, find it extremely relevant uh, to much of... Um, the phase that we are confronting right now um, <clears throat> namely <clears throat> looking at the clocking um, as a conscious uh, choice with free will uh, made by people to embrace their darkness in order <clears throat> to achieve certain things as i see um, somebody doesn't want me to talk about this <laughs> as my throat chakra is um, being affected um but seriously, now I, I consider this to be a fundamentally important uh, topic uh, related to the process of decision making of those who actually stay in light um, and they fight uh, for their um, chance to stay in light, right? Um, I mean, we've been talking for my, at least two months now uh, on this channel about um, the choice you have. Uh, related to um, accepting uh, people back into your life, uh, reconciling, um, giving chances, uh, second or third or fourth or whatever, um, uh, giving chances, basically uh, accepting or not apologies and, and um, uh, the unfortunate um, reflex of empaths to rescue others. And I just want to put this out there. Uh, because this is troubling me, um, <clears throat> because as I said, uh, all of these uh, instincts come from your um, empathy, uh, which is normal for any light worker. Um, however, it shouldn't be misguided, because if you're dealing with a person who has been doing clocking, um, and that means embracing darkness on purpose, consciously, by free will, in order to achieve purpose, in order to steal from others, in order to harm others, um, or it just, you know, to achieve purpose, um, whatever that is, um, this is um, something that shouldn't, um, I mean, this should be the point of no return for anyone in decision making. Um, choosing to do this um, just shows that you have a mindset of using darkness, of working with darkness, of selling your soul. Um, and, and that um, shows you cannot do this if you want to stay in light and just do good things. So it further shows a very questionable relation uh, you have with God and with divinity. You cannot have an honest relation with God while you are willing to embrace and use darkness. You just can't. And I remember a very long time ago, I had a discussion uh, with uh, my hairdresser. <laughs> um, and he was a man. Uh, and I remember we were talking about spirituality. And he was talking about, um, uh, you know, the thin line between light and dark and and i was uh, debating with him and i said there is no thin line uh, there is a huge uh, difference between light uh, and dark and uh, there is you shouldn't be tempted um, to try uh, to cross that line because you never know if you're going to be able to cross back um, and this is the oldest trick in the book uh, that darkness is play on people it's like, oh, it's no big deal. You're just going to do this now, you know, um, and look how much you would um, um, you would uh, succeed in getting if you do this. No matter what this is, it might be drugs, it might be a uh, different type of addictions, it might be uh, lying, it might be cheating, it might be stealing. Um, but the point I was making in the discussion was that you shouldn't even try it. You shouldn't accept any kind of compromise. No matter how small it seems to you at that point in time, you never know. You never know if you will 
be able to return from it. It's very slippery road. And if uh, light and God means enough to you, you will never risk it. You will never risk it. Nothing should be tempting enough for you to accept the slightest risk of uh, taking you away from God. Um, this was the discussion I had now, then. And I was very puzzled to see that actually he didn't, uh, my hairdresser didn't feel the same way. And he was like, no, no, it's no big deal. I can switch back and forth between dark and light. And I was like, no, you can't. No, you can't. And this is the trick the dark is playing on you. Because the second, um, um, this is going to be a, a gradual process in luring you in uh, up to the degree where you cannot return. And then it's going to be too late for you uh, to notice it. Um, so there are people, I know this from uh, even from honest discussion, um, that I, there are people who actually think this way. And this is a, a very um, faulty way of thinking. Uh, this shows doing clocking and all this mindset shows that these individuals lack uh, healthy boundaries in terms of good and right. We're not talking here about healthy boundaries in relationships, which need uh, more of a deeper understanding of psychological uh, dimensions of uh, relations and so on. We are talking about boundaries in terms of good and, and wrong. So these are fundamental values. Um, you cannot be saying you love God or that uh, you want to stay in light, but then um, to summon and uh, take upon yourself and worship uh, forces of dark. This cannot be. This, this is not, this shouldn't even cross your mind. Uh, so um, this is not about confusion. They made conscious choice. And keep in mind that somebody who's done cloaking, uh, they have done this for a long time. They have been part of uh, secret societies with um, rituals and initi initiations and um, all sorts of things. Um, and to me, you have two big questions for these individuals. Uh, one uh, is when is going to be the time when they will fully know for sure that all of that was a mistake and they shouldn't give it up. They shouldn't, uh, they should give it up and they should have never tried it. Okay. Um, and the other big uh, question, uh, when will they, um, when and how will they uh, find the power to actually uh, set uh, strong boundaries against all of that? Because as I said in the previous video, um, as you did this consciously with free will, uh, the grip darkness has on you and dark forces and other individuals with whom you have done this um, is very strong because you have done it with your free will. I can tell you from experience, even if you walk the straight line with God and you never done anything like this, it is still difficult to fight against dark forces being sent to you. I cannot even imagine how it is to fight against forces which you yourself summoned and worshipped. This is something that leaves an imprint on your DNA. This is something very strong. This is a claim darkness makes on you for legitimate reasons because you with free will chose that darkness and you worshipped that darkness. On human level, individuals that have been in such uh, environments, they have many um, issues to be blackmailed with. They have groups uh, of people with whom they've done these wrong things. Um, and uh, I remember, for example, uh, that when I was very young, um, young child, not uh, just young, young child, uh, my father was teaching me, my adoptive father was teaching me, um, and he was saying, um, imagine somebody who is watching. Uh, my father uh, used to work for uh, Intel Agency and my father said, just imagine that somebody is watching you and is um, uh, recording you 24 hours a day. Every single move in, in your life, every single decision, I will not be next to you all the time. But just think this, 
no matter where you are, with whom are you with, just keep in mind this, that somebody is recording you and is watching you 24 hours a day. And whenever um, you have to make a choice and I'm not next to you, just keep this in mind, that somebody might be recording you. And whatever decision you make in that moment, make sure that nobody ever will be able to hold that against you and or blackmail you with. As long as you know that making that decision, you still are a peace of mind and you wouldn't feel uncomfortable with somebody pulling out a, a, a recorded a tape of what you have chose to do in that moment and putting it out on TV or giving it to your um, colleagues or neighbors or so on. Um, so as long as you feel comfortable with that, then that decision is good. If you feel the slightest uh, uh, uncomfort, um, lack of comfort um, with everybody else knowing what you chose to do that single second, then don't do it. Then don't do it because most probably there is a chance that somebody is recording that or using that against you later on. Whenever you wouldn't expected and you wouldn't want it to come out so and i did live my life like this um so um i kept this actually as a life lesson and as a um, guiding principle in my life uh, and indeed uh, all the choices i made in my life i made them with this um advice from my father in mind uh, you know knowing that uh, no matter what happens later I wouldn't feel uncomfortable with the decisions I made. I could stand up and uh, speak up uh, publicly about whatever decision I made in whatever point of my life. Um, so uh, this is how you walk the straight line. Now, imagine that these people are at the exact opposite um, um, situation. Uh, so they made choices. They've been in groups doing deeply wrong things, um, pursuing addictions together. Some of them, of them have done murder even. Some of them witnessed really bad things being done and said nothing, and they became complice to those uh, things. Um, it, again, this is not about people being confused, but people choosing with free will choice uh, to actually uh, work with darkness. Um, so this, these are people who are used with lying, manipulating and hiding things and being complice with people who are doing harm. Um, this, all of these shows very deep rooted faults of character um, and lack of morals, no matter what was the fault of character which led them to do this. Some did it for greed, for money, for fame, uh, because they uh, gained certain advantages um, in terms of status, ranking, and whatever uh, money, business, um, or even relations, um, uh, networking, and so on. Um, it doesn't matter which are the faults of character. Uh, some of these people um, have done really wrong things in their lives, which can be used to blackmail them. Um, and uh, even if they are not being blackmailed, they will always um, feel uneasy to uh, reject, refuse uh, and um, somebody who, from the past, from this uh, environment uh, with whom they have done wrong things. And wrong things can mean anything uh, from stealing, from deep secrets uh, about um, harm being done to others, uh, going back to addictions, drugs, um, uh, promiscuity, uh, group uh, sex, uh, and all sorts of, uh, of bad things that uh, they actually do. Uh, so for uh, such an individual, the bottom line is that for such an individual who went through all of this by free will choice, again, I keep saying that, um, it's very hard to come back in light and stay in light. Most probably, I would imagine, it's somebody somebody who uh, takes a long time to decide to come back to light. 
um, it will have a long path of back and forth because um, the willpower uh, is something that you have to exercise. It, it pertains also of your um, strength of, of values and, and, and um, ability to choose the right thing and so on. And um, so these individuals uh, will go through a long process of recovery. Uh, and I don't imagine it's going to be just one decision uh, uh, of uh, staying in light and that's it. I imagine uh, they are used of manipulating and lying. Uh, so they will be very easily <clears throat> drag you down and um, will go back and forth. They will for sure <clears throat> encounter many provo uh, uh, provocations from people from their past. Um, there is no saying. It's very difficult for me to speak during this video. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure somebody is very mad at me of saying this. Probably my neighbors uh, who are uh, listening um, I have a, a woman who's a next door neighbor, but she's, um, it is a, a, a townhouse with a, a shared wall. Uh, so she's always listening to me and she's been doing uh, not only gang stalking uh, on me, but she's been doing lots of stealing my identity. Uh, and lots of, she's involved with these uh, jerks. Uh, so I think she's listening to what I'm saying and she gets very mad at, at me saying this. <laughs> Uh, the point I'm making, though, is when you choose uh, to rescue one of these individuals and accepting reconciliation with them, um, I'm not uh, judging you. I'm just saying, make sure you understand the depth of this process and make sure that you yourself, you're willing for that person to drag you to hell. Because this is what it means to give chances to someone who um, is coming from this uh, uh, situation um, and is more likely uh, to betray you over and over and over again. Um, now, uh, there are addictions associated to that, but those addictions are because of the poor choices they made, uh, you know, and usually these people have done this for a very long time, you know, so um, they have the culture of being in power by using somebody else's energy, okay? So I just felt like speaking again about this topic only because it disturbed me so much. I mean, you know, uh, these people who uh, come, uh, you know, uh, and play this role of um, asking for apologies, of, uh, oh, they need help, uh, they need somebody to help them. Um, no. They have done this on purpose. They have done this to harvest energy from others, to steal somebody else's rights. And this is very poor choice and it's a pity as I said in the previous video because I am pretty sure each and every one of them had their own gifts and power given by God uh, to them and had, they had numerous chances uh, to step outside of this uh, uh, world of darkness. Um, but they chose to stay in it. you know. And also I, I want to say one more thing. Uh, I have personal experience. Uh, with this, where um, in early 2018, uh, I was working with God in trying to create, um, God was showing me, you know, about all these uh, illegal practices in uh, Astral, and, and I said, you know, we should make a rescue center where we uh, make like a list of all of these wrong things being done, so people will know, and we should um, give also um, guidance on how to how to fight it, we should create some structures uh, to block these people and to just, uh, you know, punish them. Um, and um, I gave chances to some of these individuals who have been working with darkness. And I said, look, uh, you have done so much harm in the past. If you're willing to change, your contribution will be uh, tremendous to this uh, endeavor uh, because you have done this wrong. You have done all the illegal practices possible out there. So you are the best um, uh, individuals to actually come forward with the information related to what is being done. And God will help you if you come forward and you help uh, others to uh, clean this mess. 
God will help you with your, your redemption. This will be part of your redemption by coming forward and, and speaking up and saying uh, what uh, um, is being done out there in terms of, uh, you know, a secret society using darkness in different rituals, in different witchcraft, black magic, so, 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 and so, you know, institutionalized um, uh, stealing, uh, making claims on people and stealing rights and uh, ranking and uh, so on. Uh, so I was just discovering this. I was just learning about it. And I was so um, shocked and uh, insulted by all that is being done that I said, this cannot stay this way. Uh, Godfather, we have to fight it. We should do this. God said, what would you do uh, if I give you now the power? And I said, we should do this and this and this and this. And uh, within that uh, structure, which I was going to uh, create called the Center for Rescuing, uh, I don't even remember the, fa the last words, but I was focused on rescuing individuals who were not aware of this being done against them, uh, making claims made on them, especially women, you know, um, and uh, stealing rights and so on. Um, and um, uh, these individuals uh, who have done this against me have stolen my rights in the past and uh, made illegal claims on me and so on. They said at the time, you know, uh, we are sorry, we admire so much what you work, what spiritual work you do with God. We would like to help you. There were at least uh, four of three or four of them, you know, who came forward to me and they said, we admire so much what you do with God. This is so beautiful. You know what? We, we were forced to do this because we were asked uh, uh, by different uh, structures and um, and so on to do this and we we just uh, couldn't stand against everyone so they made all sorts of excuses and i gave them the chance back then uh, and i said okay you you were asked to do this and these are the two among these four there are the two individuals about whom i spoke in a previous video who made claims on me and and they did all this destruction and i said um you can do this with god um and you can work uh, at this project by uh, because I understand you have done a lot of wrong things, but by coming forward and giving uh, also the um, uh, not only the description of what is being done, but also the solution of how to unblock this and how to cancel all that has been done, you will do a lot of good for the humankind, you know, uh, and um, God will reward you for this, you know. Um, and of course, they pretended to do this for a while. And then, of course, they are the ones who created the um, surprise attack in 2018. They took advantage, of course, of me offering them a chance to repent and to redeem. And um, they turned around, they betrayed, and they created uh, the... And they have been doing that ever since then. Um, they created all the attacks uh, at me that followed. Uh, they only took advantage of the of my um, good faith um, in order to create strings on me and to pull me down, basically. Um, so I have experience with that, okay? And these are the people actually who are now at the end of the situational karmic cycle because uh, I call judgment on them and punishment. Um, now they... Um, they ask again for a chance uh, for forgiveness. No, of course, this is why I don't even want to see them. Uh, and they have no chance to even talk to me. I'm not even willing to accept uh, any kind of uh, dialogue. Um, but this is what I mean. Uh, they will manipulate any chance, even if uh, in the very instant they might come in good faith. Uh, the very second when, it, uh, when it's gonna, this fight is going to become tough, uh, they will betray you and they will uh, just take the opportunity to uh, sell more contracts on you. This I know from experience. It's not. Um, I said this in many videos before. Uh, in my case, I gave many chances until I decided I give no more chances to anyone. Uh, so I fully know exactly uh, what I'm speaking of. I have been doing this, uh, uh, giving chances and uh, individuals just using that to betray me once again and to launch even more destructive attacks at me. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stop here. I just felt the need to come back to this topic. It's just because it's been bothering me so much. Because, uh, as I said, I think uh, it's deeply uh, unfair 
but that individuals who have been doing this on purpose, on purpose, uh, now they come and present themselves as uh, innocent and victims, and um, they want to have um, uh, chances for um, um, reconciliation and forgiveness, which actually uh, is just their way of transferring karma and creating more attacks on you. I know this, as I said, from experience. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope this will help people who are still in limbo about their decisions. I really, really, really wish you well and wisdom so you can choose well. For me, the choice to extend chances to these kind of individuals uh, led me to the night, the worst nightmare um, and a very, very long uh, fight uh, in hell. Uh, situation hell-like situations uh, so no i'm not willing to give any kind of chances or have any kind of dialogue with any of them um and i believe uh, everyone should embrace this from the very beginning if they want um to uh, stay in light and enjoy their chance of a new beginning um which they uh, deserve and they receive from god